You can already see it when yeah. we've taken a look at our cameras. A couple of people sending me sunrise pictures and saying what happened to the sun. Yeah. It looks cloudy. It's not cloud cover. It's all that haze. The wildfire smoke. We told you over the last several days that it was coming back and it's here with us now. The good news is in central Iowa, it is high enough up in the sky to where we are not seeing any significant air quality issues. So from Des Moines to Creston, way down into western and southwestern Iowa, our air quality is good. In yellow, that's where it's a little bit worse. And then you go into northeast Iowa, and that's where we have hazardous air quality because that's also where the thickest smoke is and will be throughout the day. Our model shows all those oranges and reds in that northeast part of the state. That's a thicker plume of smoke that sticks around today. So be careful if you're in northeast Iowa or even farther east than Des Moines. I want you to be safe outside if you plan to be out there for a while. The air quality still not going to be great overnight or tomorrow because that haze makes its way a little bit farther south and west. The thicker part of it that that is so we will keep the smokiness around for several days. You see it right now on Sky Tracker 5 in downtown Des Moines. It's a comfortable start. Otherwise, 63 in the metro. Our wind is light and we are in for a really warm day. Despite that haziness, we climb to 87 at noon and then yeah, 90 degrees later this afternoon in Des Moines. I'm calling for 90 on the dot in Des Moines, but it'll be closer to 91 in Grinnell, Ottumwa and 92 degrees in Ames. This could be the hottest day so far this year. And then tomorrow we take a little step back. The temperatures cool off a couple of degrees. We've got a backdoor cold front that makes its way into our state again coming from the east and northeast. So we're expecting temperatures to be in the mid 80s tomorrow. It has not yet hit 90 in Des Moines, which is a little bit below the average or behind schedule. The average is June 3rd, and in the last four years, we had already had a 90 by this point. It is going to stay dry today. There may be a sprinkle near Waterloo and Cedar Rapids, and it will be dry during the day tomorrow as well. That system that brings us rain won't arrive until the weekend. A couple of scattered thunder showers in northwest Iowa early on Saturday, and then scattered showers and thunderstorms, perhaps a broken line here on Saturday late afternoon and evening. That'll stick around into at least the first part of the day on Sunday. But again, I do want to stress, you'll see that here on our whole plumbing and heating 10 day forecast. It is all scattered. The severe weather threat is low, so you will not see rain all weekend. 81 the high on Sunday, much more comfortable temperature wise, and then it turns drier and warmer again next week.